Hello, everybody. Resounding silence when I get here. When we gonna start? Hey, Morlex, we got uh, thirteen minutes. Okay. Okay. I gotta change my. I put the wrong darn thing on. Okay. And remember, Morlex, this is Neuroanatomy TV. Hey, Morlex, we got uh, thirteen minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm good. I'm sorry, I've also got the, uh, I gotta change my, I put the wrong darn thing on. There we go. Okay, I have a Kahoot set up, but we're gonna do it after, okay, Warlocks? Okay, sure. So, we also yeah. Have, we also have quiz today? Uh, hey, let me get my spotlight off, okay. Well, uh, what'd you say, Warlocks? Do we have a quiz today? Chris, what's Chris? Oh, sorry, quiz, like Kahoot, like last time, the question. Oh, yeah, 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 Kahoot. Oh, yeah. Quiz, what the hell is Chris? <laughs> quiz, you know, make up a new game, hey? Hey, you can do what you want. We're gonna play Quiz now. 
we stopped playing cahoots. We're gonna Warlock's change it to Quest. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that after, after, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. And Warlock, I'm gonna let you run it. I'm not even gonna be in the screen until unless I have to help. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 6, and you're going to say, hi, I'm Warlix from Neuroanatomy TV, okay? Okay. And I'm not going to be there on it because I don't want to confuse people. You know what I mean? The, I think the, the simpler we make it, the better. Don't you agree? Yeah, so I'm uh, going to... Take a note. What should I say? Yeah, yeah. So in other words, you're running. Once I put you on the camera, you're running the show, uh, and you, you know, you have to take care of the questions and the directions. But I'll be here. You know, I could always you know, jump in and say something, and I'll, I'll you know, set up the um, uh, kahoot and just uh, wing it. Just say what you want. Just, when you introduce Victor, just say what you want. Whatever you want. And, and, and you can do anything you want. Anything you want. Just do it. <laughs> Neuroanatomy Neuro TV. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and any direction you, you want to take it, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's going to probably just be normal and stuff like that. Okay. But it would be really nice, I mean, to develop a personality as well as uh, the content, you know. Because mm -hmm. this is essentially television. It's essentially television uh, on the Internet. That's what it is. Except it gives us the power of the station <laughs> to run the, the state. Someone left the station open. We took over. Yeah. You're not listening to me. You're looking at your smartphone. That's okay. I'll be back. I'll be back, okay? Hang in there. Okay. Hang in there. Sure. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to put it on Facebook and stuff. That's important. Yes. Okay, eight minutes we start. Okay. okay. Just sending to the mailing list now. One of these days I'll show you what I'm doing.
Okay, oh, sides here, good. Is this overall going to that's, that's a nice background you have there. Yeah. Oh. Branding, branding yourself. That's good. How are you, Joan? Hello. Is this Saeed? Yes. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice I, I, I you. I'm glad you can yes. make it. Yeah, you yes. know Warlock? Saeed, do you know Warlocks? She's uh, moderating today. And this is Saeed. He's a neurosurgeon from from East, Af you know? East Africa, right? No, it's a uh, Rainin and Island. It's French department. Oh, okay. She's in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, you have said you made a great advertisement. You just, you just said. You just told yeah. me. You just told me. It's a secret, though. I, I better not tell you. You're gonna, you're gonna get a big head, and I, <laughs> and I don't think it'll fit on the screen. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I had to fix like that. He was asked me like two or three times. Yeah. Oh, he gets a kick out of it. Uh, he really wants to penetrate the Chinese neurosurgery niche. He really wants to do it. And yeah. I think he sees it as helping, helping the effort. And, and I, you know, I agree. Okay, five minutes. So any plans, Saeed, on what you want to do or any, any progress in your talk, your plan, what you're doing, Saeed? Yes, uh, I'm, uh, I participate, uh, I will uh, participate um, and uh, for uh, June, uh, yes, to June, no, June, January 4th, I uh, talk about, uh, I will talk about uh, uh, Tontoria and Cesar area. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know. But apart from that, uh, weren't you trying to start a community in your part of Africa? Yes, uh, South Africa, uh, East uh, Ocean, uh, Indian, or uh, um, neurosurgery. Yeah, you, you you talked about the area, but yes. any progress in talk and th in the thoughts there? Yes, uh, yeah, I'm in uh, touch with uh, some uh, neurosurgeon from France. Uh, I think it will be uh, in South Africa. And, okay. Um, okay. Just, yes. Okay. Just let me know. Let me know. Okay. That's Okay. Let's see here. We start in a few minutes. Indonesia, welcome from Indonesia. We start in a few minutes. See, Warlocks is running the show now. She, she said, uh, she told me, she said, John, we really don't need you. We don't no, need no. you on the screen. No, we need you on the screen. I felt bad. I cried a little bit. I shed a few tears. You know, like, people don't think that I'm, I'm a surgeon now. <laughs> no, it's got to be, it should be all neurosurgeons, you know. What the heck? Should be. Yeah, so I get used to that now. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you can turn the conversation. You know, it's great to see Borba and um, hey, there's Joanna here. It's great to see Borba run run his webcast because he, he's he's a great he's a great moderator, huh? Yes, he's a yeah, great moderator. The way he gets everyone to participate. Yes, really nice guy. That yeah, I, but, I knew a teacher that I met him in Bangkok, and he uh, at that time it's a big like skull based uh, conference, a big name, a lot of names come to Thailand. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you met him. He came to Bangkok? Yes, that I think it's annually meeting or something that takes place in Bangkok. Uh, I think a couple of years ago, 
that's when I was uh, last year for me to train neurosurgeons. Yes. So I took a picture of him at Medical Ipe. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you saw Ipe there too in Bangkok? Yes, for him and his wife. He takes his wife to the conference as well. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, yeah, we had a conference. Um, I think it's before we met you uh, with Ben. <laughs> Hello, Victor. Hello, Jan. How are you? Hello, good, good. Warwick. Yeah, Hello. yeah. Warwick threw me off. She says, "I want to. I want to moderate." John, yeah. just get off, get off the screen as soon as you can. <laughs> no, she's she, she's basically going to run it, and I'll I'll just go in the background because you know there's things you gotta you know it helps to pay attention to uh, uh, stuff you know Warwick's, and and one thing Victor showed me. During the broadcast, uh, he was sending links. He was sending pictures of the broadcast to his social media. Mm -hmm. And that, that frees me up to do that. In other words, you know, uh, you know, I could just send out, okay, Victor's talking about this. Boom. Like, okay. So you're going to tell me when to start, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just we got, uh, okay. Okay. Are you guys ready? It just, okay. It's just you now, Orlix. Okay. And when I, after I say, after I go to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 1, after I get to 1, then you can start, okay? okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Nilo Anatomy TV today. I'm Walala, neurosurgeon from Thailand. Today, I'm your moderator. Today, we have our special guest, Dr. Victor Hugo Correa. He's a Nilo Anatomy neurosurgeon from Mexico City. Today, he will give us a special uh, talk about cerebral veins and sinus training approach. And at the end, we will have the protest booth as well. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice to be here. Today, I am going to talk about. Um, the cerebral veins. So I just want to know if uh, the screen is uh, complete, all the screen? Yes, you need to make it bigger, Victor. A bigger? Yeah. A bigger one? Okay, let, let me try again, please. You fell off there, you fell off. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now? Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, cerebral veins and uh, the venous sinus. Um, uh, cerebral veins, uh, frequent uh, variations in the size and connections of the cerebral veins have made it uh, difficult uh, to define a normal pattern. And the nomenclature used to describe the veins has infrequently been applicable to the operative situation. The fact that sacrifice of uh, the major trunks of the deep venous system only infrequently leads to venous infection with mass effect and neurological deficit is attributed to the diffuse anastomosis between the veins. On the other hand, injury to this complicated venous network may cause severe deficits, including hemiplegia, coma, and death. The cerebral veins may pose a major obstacle to operative approach to deep-seated lesions. The cerebral veins may pose a major obstacle to operative approach to deep seated lesions, especially in the pineal region on the, the temporal lobe and along the central part of the superior sagittal sinus. At numerous sites, the displacement of the veins may provide more accurate localizing information on neuroradiological studies than the arteries, because the veins are often more adherent to the brain than the arteries, which are not tightly adherent to the cortical surface. Uh, here we have um, a meningioma in the, in, uh, 
in uh, let, let me see excuse me let, let me see my 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 presentation because i think this is not the sequence that i want to show you but okay, okay let, 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 let me try uh, this is a meningio in the lateral Excuse me, uh, you, fell off, big, you fell off the screen share. You fell off the screen share. Okay, uh, a big meningio uh, in the anterior and middle uh, skull base. Okay, you're not you're not screen sharing, Victor. It's off the screen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me try again. Okay. Okay, let me try again. Is it okay now? Uh, yeah, make it bigger at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me let me try. Okay, it fell off again, Victor. You're, you're off your game today. <laughs> yeah. Now? Yes, perfect. Okay. Uh, this is a big meningio. Uh, if uh, we are going to make uh, some approach like this. Uh, we need to understand not only anatomy of veins, arteries, and also the skull base and the brain. Uh, here, uh, this is the final resection of this tumor uh, located at the lateral side of the cavernous sinus and also in the anterior fossa. And this is the postoperative result. The superficial veins drain the cortical surfaces. They collect into four groups of bridging veins, a superior sagittal group that drains into the superior sagittal sinus, a sphenoidal group that drains into the sphenoparietal or cavernous sinus, a tintorial group that converge on the sinuses in the tintorium, and a falcine group that empties into the inferior sagittal or straight sinus or the tributaries. The later group includes the cortical veins that reach the straight sinus by emptying into the internal cerebral, basal, and great veins. The superior sagittal, sphenoidal, or tentorial group may drain the majority of the hemisphere if its tributaries are large. The superior sagittal group is composed of the veins that drain into the superior sagittal sinus. It includes the veins from the superior part of the medial and lateral surfaces of the frontal. Here we have the frontal, parietal, and occipital lobes. And from the anterior part of the orbital surface of the frontal lobe, there is usually a free segment of vein one to two centimeters in length in the subdural space between the veins exit from its bed in the pia arachnoid and its entrance into the sinus. This vein may empty directly into the superior sagittal sinus or may join a meningeal sinus in the dural mater en route to the superior sagittal sinus. No, no. Okay. Without sound. Uh, this is an injection of uh, the lateral aspect of uh, the brain. Uh, I am injecting the vein of la ve. This is a big uh, tributary, a big uh, anastomotic, an inferior anastomotic vein, uh, the bigger one in most brains. Uh, this is a good anastomosis between sylvian vein, trollard vein, and some other veins in the lateral aspect of the brain. Uh, if we want to, to make a dissection of uh, uh, the brain, it's much better to inject it with this, uh, with this kind of uh, silicone. Uh, the sphenoidal group the, is formed by the bridging veins 
that empty into the sinuses that cause in the inner surface of the sphenoid bone. This group formed by the terminal ends of the superficial sylvian and occasionally the deep sylvian veins drains the part of the frontal, like in here, temporal and parietal lobes adjoining the sylvian fissure. These veins drain into the sphenoparietal or cavernous sinus and less commonly into the sphenobasal or sphenopetrosal sinus. The tentorial group of bridging veins drains into the sinuses causing in the tentorium, called the tentorial sinuses or into the transverse and superior petrosal sinuses. This is the transverse sinus. Uh, in the tentorial margins, this group is composed of the veins draining the lateral surface of uh, the temporal lobe and the basal surface of the temporal and occipital lobes. As you can see in here, uh, here we have a, a labe, vein of labe in the posterior part of the temporal lobe. Uh, this is uh, not common. The most common is to find this vein of labe in the medial, in the medial temporal lobe. This is an anterior uh, vein of la vein anterior in, in, in this, uh, in the temporal lobe. So here we have two veins of uh, la vein. This one in the, uh, in the anterior uh, third of the temporal lobe, and this one in the posterior third of the temporal lobe. This is not usual. This is uncommon. Rotom described in 20 hemispheres only <clears throat> two veins of la vein uh, founded in this site. The most common is in the medial tier of the temporal lobe. Tentorial group. This group includes the temporobasal and occipitobasal veins and the descending veins including the vein of la vein from the lateral surface of the temporal lobe. These veins converge on the preoccipital notch, like in this part, preoccipital notch. And although they may enter the transverse sinus, most of them, except the vein of la vein, usually goes around the inferior margin of the hemisphere to reach the lateral tentorial sinus. The vein of la vein usually enters the transverse sinus the breaking veins from the basal surface frequently adhere to the dura mater covering the middle fossa or the tentorium surface before joining the venous sinuses. Here we have the superior sagittal sinus joining with the transverse sinus. And here we have uh, uh, this uh, temporal uh, vein. The falcine group is formed by the veins that empty into the inferior sagittal or straight sinus. This is inferior, inferior uh, sagittal sinus, or either directly of, uh, through the internal cerebral, basal, and great veins. The cortical area drained by the falcin group corresponds roughly to the limbic lobe, a group of convolutions that form a continuous cortical strip that grows around the corpus callosum and upper brain stem. In this uh, brain, I cut the parietal and occipital lobe and some of the temporal lobe in order to see these uh, uh, deep uh, veins. The largest cortical areas are the parahypocampal and single gyri. But the area also includes the paraterminal, para olfatory gyri, and the uncus. Here we have the uncus. The veins on the paraterminal and para olfatory gyri drain posteriorly toward the anterior cerebral vein, which empties into the anterior end of the basal vein. The anterior parts of the cingulate gyrus and corpus callosum are drained by the anterior pericallosal veins, which may join the inferior sagittal sinus or the anterior cerebral vein. The posterior part of the cingulate gyrus is drained by the posterior pericallosal vein. 
which drains into the great or internal cerebral veins in the quadrigeminal system. Here we have the crural and quadrigeminal system. Here we have the uh, vein of galeno, galenus vein, and this is the striped sinus. And both uh, uh, rosenthal uh, veins. The area adjoining the isthmus of the cingulate gyrus and the area surrounding the anterior part of the calcarine fissure is drained by anterior calcarine veins, which cross the quadrigeminal system to reach the great vein or its tributaries. The medial part of the parahypocampal gyrus and uncus are drained by the juncal, anterior hypocampal and medial temporal veins which pass medially to empty into the basal vein in the crural and ambient cisterns. Dural sinuses and veins. The dural sinuses into which the cortical veins empty are the superior and inferior sagittal, superior sinus here, the straight transverse, tentorial, cavernous, sphenoparietal, sphenobasal, and sphenopetrosal sinuses. These sinuses form the terminal part of the superficial cortical venous system. Uh, I think that you agree with me, uh, the most uh, complex uh, area of or, uh, sinus is the cavernous sinus because of the uh, cranial nerves, uh, internal carotid artery, intracavernous uh, segment, of the carotid, internal carotid artery. And here we have the lateral aspect of the cavernous sinus. Uh, I remove the superficial cranial nerves, nerves third, fourth, and fifth, in order to remove the dural, the, the dura. And here we have the sixth cranial nerve, closest forward from uh, behind to the a sphenoidal fissure. Uh, here we have the Dorelos uh, canal. The superior sagittal sinus courses in the midline beginning just behind the frontal sinuses and grows larger as it continues posteriorly in the shallow groove on the inner table of the cranium. It may communicate through the foramen secum with the veins of the nasal cavity. It drains into the transverse sinus at the internal occipital protuberance through a plexiform confluent venous complex called the torcular aerophily that connects the superior sagittal transverse stripe and occipital sinus. Although the superior sagittal sinus may drain equally to the right and left transverse sinus, or predominantly or wholly to either side, it is usually the right transverse sinus that receives the majority of its drainage. The superior sagittal sinus drains the anterior part of the inferior surface of the frontal lobe and the superior portions of the lateral and medial surfaces of the frontal, parietal, and occipital lobes. Here we have a superior sagittal sinus, and this sinus is divided some centimeters uh, behind the junction with the transverse sinus. This is also a, a, a variation in the anatomy of this, uh, cover, of this superior sagittal sinus. The superior sagittal sinus and venous lacuna. Uh, the superior sagittal sinus courses in the midline, beginning just behind the frontal sinuses and grows larger as it continues posteriorly in the shallow groove on the inner table of the cranium. It may communicate through the foramen secum with the veins of the nasal cavity. It drains into the transverse sinus at the internal occipital protuberance through a plexiform confluent venous complex called the torcular aerophily that connects the superior sagittal transverse straight and occipital sinuses. Here we have a venous lacunae in the superior sagittal sinus. So uh, here we have a uh, dissection in um, I'm trying to to dissect these uh, bridge veins 
in the lateral aspect of the brain. Uh, this is very important uh, to know how is uh, this, um, uh, this is an arachnoid, so, uh, 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 an arachnoid uh, subarachnoid granulations. So, when you are going to operate a meningeal uh, yeah. coming from the middle third of the superior sagittal sinus, it's very important to respect uh, the veins. Uh, do not coagulate them because uh, we could have an hemorrhagic infarction because of uh, a of these yeah. uh, bridge veins. Yeah. Sí. So remember that veins are very adherent to arachnoid. So it's very important to make a careful dissection in this uh, in these veins. This is some arachnoid. So also in the medial third of the superior sagittal sinus is a site where we are going to find uh, numerous bridging veins. So the tumor that arise in this region are a little difficult because of the adherence with some of these veins. In large venous spaces called lacunae, like, like this, like in this picture, are contained in the dura mater adjoining the superior sagittal sinus. The lacunae are largest and most constant in the parietal and posterior frontal regions. Smaller lacunae are found in the occipital and anterior frontal regions. In some cases, the separate lacunae are replaced by a simple lacuna on each side of the sinus. The lacuna receives predominantly the drainage of the meningeal veins, which accompany the meningeal arteries in the dura mater. Some investigators have recorded that the lacuna do not receive the drainage of the cortical veins. However, we did find sites of communication between the cortical veins and the lacunae. The cortical veins that empty into the superior sagittal sinus characteristically pass beneath rather than emptying directly into the lacuna to reach the sinus. Here we have another dissection in order to see this, uh, the, the, this superior sagittal sinus. Here we have some uh, lacunae. Vamos a seguir aquí despegando. I am cutting some dura mater. Let me show you. This is a superior sagittal sinus. This one. I am cutting some uh, dura mater. So in, in some cases, um, we need to, to make a careful dissection uh, when we are going to remove uh, meninges in this, in this site. 
Okay. Uh, this is a big uh, meningioma in the Parieto occipital region. In the third um, uh, of the superior sagittal sinus, in the posterior third. Uh, this is the preoperatory um, uh, view, and this is a post operatory view. So I close the superior sagittal sinus in order to remove this uh, big and complex uh, uh, meningeal. Uh, here we have a coronal uh, view. And this is a, 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 an axial view of this, uh, of this um, patient. So uh, I saw the patient uh, three years uh, after the surgery. And this este, is. Para ver uh, tu evolución, ¿cómo sigues? ¿Cómo vas ahora? And I was asking the patient uh, about. Uh, uh, his uh, ocular function. Uh, he, he was in, in good uh, condition after uh, three, year, three years of surgery. So the superior sagittal sinus, the superior sagittal sinus is triangular in cross section and has right and left lateral angles at its junction with the dura mater covering the convexities and an inferior angle and its junction with the fox. The cortical veins may pass directly to the superior sagittal sinus, or they may join the meningeal sinuses, which empty into the superior sagittal sinus. Well, I don't know what happened with, with this, uh, but it doesn't matter. The inferior sagittal sinus causes in the inferior edge of the false. It originates above the anterior portion of the corpus callosum and enlarges as it causes posteriorly to join the straight sinus. It arises from the union of veins from the adjacent part of the folds, corpus callosum and cingulate gyrus. The junction of the veins from the cingulate gyrus and corpus callosum with the sinus often forms an acute hook-like hook hook -like vein with the apex directed forward. The largest tributaries of the inferior sagittal sinus are the anterior pericallosal veins the superior sagittal sinus may communicate through a venous channel in the folds with inferior sagittal sinus. This connection may infrequently be so large that the superior sagittal sinus drains predominantly into the inferior sagittal and straight sinus. Sorry for these lines. I didn't know what happened, but uh, the straight sinus originates behind the splenium of the corpus callosum at the union of the inferior sagittal sinus and the great vein, it continues posteriorly and downward in the junction of the tentorium and folds. It may drain into either transverse sinus, but most commonly drains predominantly into the left transverse sinus. The transverse sinus, this is a, 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 a view of a, a dissection of the skull, skull base. Uh, I, I injected the uh, sinuses in situ, and here we have uh, the uh, junction of uh, superior sagittal sinus and transverse, and both, and both transverse sinus. Uh, here we have the junction of uh, the transverse sinus with the sigmoid sinus, and look at this. This is the superior petrosal sinus. This is the inferior petrosal sinus superior petrosal sinus connect the junction of sigmoid and transverse sinus with the posterior end of cavernous sinus. This is very, very important uh, for the approach to the transpetrosal approach. The transverse sinus exits the tentorial attachments to become the sigmoid sinus at the site just behind the petrous ridge where the transverse and superior petrosal sinus meet. Although the superior sagittal sinus may drain equally to the left and right transverse sinus or predominantly or wholly to either side, it is the right transverse sinus that is usually larger and receives the majority of the drainage from the superior sagittal sinus. Here we have another picture. This is uh, the 
uh, inner skull base, and this is with dura mater and the sinuses. Uh, this is um, an artistic um, uh, skull base. Uh, here we have the meningeal, the superior petrosal sinus, inferior petrosal sinus, sigmoid sinus, and transverse sinus. This is the basilar sinus. Here we have the pituitary gland, optic nerves, uh, internal carotid artery, supracranial segment, and the cranial nerves uh, uh, in the cavernous sinus. The superior petrosal sinus. The superior petrosal sinus causes with the attachment of the tentorium to the petros ridge. This is the petros ridge. It's medial and connects with the posterior end of the cavernous sinus. The bridging veins that join it usually arise from the cerebellum and brain step, not the cerebrum. The sinus may course over, under, or around the posterior root of the trigeminal nerve. The superficial sylvian veins may empty in, into an infrequent tributary of the superior petrosal sinus called the sphenoparietal. Uh, the largest vein on the lateral surface are the veins of Trollard and Labe, and the superficial sylvian veins. The vein of Trollard is the largest anastomotic vein, joining the superior sagittal sinus with the veins along the sylvian fissure. This vein is the largest vein connecting the veins along the sylvian fissure with the transverse sinus. The superficial sylvian veins courses along the surface of the sylvian fissure and drains predominantly into the dura sinuses along the esphenoid ridge. <laughs> Sorry for this music. Um, this is uh, the vein of Labé. Uh, this is uh, the other aspect. This is another uh, injection. The first one that you, that you saw uh, is another. This is... Uh, in the other part of the brain, in the other hemisphere. So here we have the vein of Labé, the sylvian vein, and uh, the largest of these uh, parietofrontal veins is named the trollard vein, or the superior anastomotic vein. So in this case, we have a very good anastomosis between, between the vein of Labé, this one, and then some uh, parieto occipital vein, parietal veins. So this is going to the sylvian fissure. And in the depth of sylvian fissure, we have the, the vein of the sylvian fissure. Here we have the trollar vein. The vein of Labé, also called the inferior anastomotic vein, is the largest anastomotic channel that crosses the temporal lobe between the sylvian fissure and the transverse sinus. It usually arises from the middle portion of the sylvian fissure and is directed posteriorly and inferiorly toward the anterior part of the transverse sinus. It may cross the temporal lobe as far back as the posterior limit of the lobe or as far forward as the anterior tilt of the lateral surface. There may be double veins of Labé, in which case the posterior vein is usually larger. The text of this lecture was uh, taken from Rotten's uh, lectures. So in the experience of uh, Dr. Rotten, uh, about uh, venous injection of 20 uh, hemispheres, uh, he found uh, this vein of Labé most common in the middle uh, tier of the temporal lobe, like in this case. The cavernous sinus are located, uh, are located each side of the cella and pituitary gland. Uh, this is the cella and pituitary gland. Uh, this, here we have the optic uh, nerves, uh, the ophthalmic artery coming from uh, the supraclinal carotid artery, third nerve and fourth nerve. 
Uh, Rotom described four triangles uh, for cavernous sinus. The clinoidal triangle is the first one. The second is the oculomotor triangle. The third, the supratrochlear triangle. And the fourth is the infratrochlear triangle. Uh, this uh, triangle is uh, between the inferior uh, triad of the fourth cranial nerve and the superior uh, part of the ophthalmic division of uh, trigeminal nerve. The cavernous sinus is defined as the dural space in which uh, the cavernous segment of the internal carotid artery causes and contains not only the cavernous carotid artery, but also a venous confluence that receives veins draining the orbit, sylvian fissure and middle and anterior fossa and has free communication with the basilar superior and inferior petrosal and intercavernous sinuses. Here we have a, a nice picture uh, after dissection of dura mater and uh, removal of uh, the superficial cranial nerves. So here we have the intracavernous carotid artery and some uh, arteries that are coming from this, from the, the, the posterior part of this uh, intracavernous carotid segment. Uh, here we have the, the tentorial artery, uh, the, the meningeal dorsal artery. And here we have, this uh, is most sure that is a, the, the inferior ophthalmic artery. Uh, here we have the inferolateral trunk uh, and this uh, sixth cranial nerve. The oculomotor, trochlear, and ophthalmic nerves course in the lateral wall. Here we have the lateral wall of cavernous sinus, third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve, the ophthalmic uh, um, mandibular maxillar division of the trigeminal. Uh, the abducens nerve courses on the medial side of the ophthalmic nerve between it and the internal carotid artery. Uh, so this is uh, Dorello's canal. And uh, above uh, these uh, Dorello's canals, uh, we have the Gruber's ligament. Uh, and this is the petrolingual ligament. So this is six uh, cranial nerve. And this is uh, of a cranial nerves. This is the only one that is uh, inside the uh, real cavernous sinus. The nerves in the sinus wall of sinus are from superior to inferior, the third cranial nerve, uh, followed by trochlear nerve, ophthalmic, and abducens nerves. Here we have another, another uh, beautiful aspect of the lateral aspect of uh, uh, this. Uh, sorry for these lines. I, 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 I do not know what happened. But they are. I don't know what happened. Maybe okay. you can you can you can remove them uh, through the pointers on the left side on the left uh, bottom side of the screen. The lateral. Are there are some arrows uh, in, uh, on the left side, left bottom side of the screen? You can go there and remove the annotations, which is uh, on the which was done accidentally. Okay. okay, maybe I, I'm going to try after the lecture. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah. yeah. Keep, there, keep there, okay, there are four triangles in the cavernous sinus, four middle fossa lateral to the cavernous sinus, and two fossa in the paraclival area. We are going to review these, uh, the, the uh, triangles of cavernous sinus. Here we have the third cranial nerve, fourth and the ophthalmic division of this uh, uh, trigeminal nerve. So as you can see here, we have some uh, arteries coming from uh, the intracavernous carotid artery. Here we have the meningo hypophyseal trunk and the inferolateral trunk uh, in this side. So these arteries are very, very important because they are going to give rise to small arteries for the, the lateral cranial nerves. The clinoidal triangle uh, is, is situated between the optic, between the optic and oculomotor nerves. This triangle is exposed by removing the anterior clinoid process. 
This is anterior clinoid process in the left side and in the right side. So uh, here we have another uh, picture with the third cranial nerve. Uh, uh, I remove I remove this uh, clinoid process in order to see this triangle. So optic nerve, uh, supraclinoid carotid artery, and uh, ophthalmic artery. Oculomotor triangle. Two margins of this triangle are formed by the anterior and posterior petroclinoidal dural folds that extend to the petrous apex. The third side is formed by the interclinoidal dural fold that extends from the, the anterior and the posterior clinoid process. Here we have the, the, this uh, triangle. The supratrochlear triangle is uh, situated between the lower surface of the oculomotor nerve and the upper surface of the trochlear nerve. This is the, the upper surface of uh, trochlear nerve uh, and this is the third cranial nerve. This is named as supratrochlear triangle. Uh, if you look uh, at this, uh, here we have the meningo hypophyseal trunk. So which triangle are you going to open in order to find this uh, meningo hypophyseal trunk? Uh, let's go in the next uh, in the next slide. Parkinson described a triangle within the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus through which the intracavernous portion of the carotid artery and its branches might be exposed for the surgical treatment of carotid cavernous fistula. This is known as Parkinson's triangle or, or uh, infra, infratrochlear triangle. So uh, in, in a close view, here we have the meningo hypophyseal trunk with uh, uh, four uh, arteries, uh, some of them mm, mm, very common and one of them uh, very un uncommon. Uh, this uh, meningo hypophyseal trunk is giving rise to the inferior uh, hypophyseal artery, to the tentorial or Bernos Bernasconi uh, artery, and the, middle, and the dorsal meningeal artery, and the McConnell or capsular artery. Uh, this is a lateral aspect of uh, this uh, uh, cavernous sinus. Uh, if we displace the superficial uh, cranial nerves, we, we can see, or the trigeminal, uh, we can see the third, fourth, sixth cranial nerve, and this is the petrolingual ligament, and this is the, the intrapetrous uh, segment of the internal carotid artery and the intracavernous segment. <clears throat> this is uh, the ligament of Gruber is uh, in the uh, above of the Dorelos canal. The basilar sinus is the largest venous connection between the paired cavernous sinuses. The superior and inferior petrosal sinuses also open into the lateral part of the basilar sinus creating a large venous confluence along the posterior wall of the cavernous sinus. Here we have the, this um, uh, basilar sinus that is the largest venous connection between the painted cavernous sinus. Here we have uh, the uh, intercavernous uh, sinus. <clears throat> Another view of uh, this uh, basilar sinus. So, the abducens nerve enters a dural cave known as Dorelos Canal. This is Dorelos Canal, where it passes below the petrosphenoid ligament, known as Gruber's ligament, that extends from the lower part of the lateral edge of the dorsum cellae to the petrous apex to enter the cavernous sinus. Here we have an inferolateral trunk uh, of uh, an inferolateral trunk, this artery. So another, another uh, view, uh, the inferolateral trunk, artery of the inferior cavernous sinus, this one, the inferolateral trunk, 
arises from the lateral side of the mid portion of the horizontal segment of the intracavernous carotid artery. Here we have the meningo hypophyseal trunk. Uh, this is uh, without uh, a, a cellar and paracellar region without injection. Uh, this is very, uh, in order to understand the anatomy of this region, it's very important to make some injections of silicon or, uh, or, uh, la or some latex. The meningeo hypophyseal trunk gives rise to these branches, uh, tentorial artery, called as, uh, or known as Bernastani Casinari, which curses lateral to the tentorium the inferior hypophyseal artery, the dorsal meningeal artery, and sometimes the, 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 the capsular artery. Uh, in this view, uh, we have a, a, a axial cut of the brain. Uh, maybe in other lecture, we can talk about uh, this because uh, I think this is really beautiful uh, to see this kind of uh, cuts um, the, with uh, a special uh, staining known as um, uh, mulligan, mulligan staining. So for example, <clears throat> in this uh, cut, in this uh, axial cut, we can see the genu of corpus uh, callosum uh, claustro, uh, frontal operculum, uh, the insula, uh, uh, choroidal plexus, posterior limb of internal capsule, anterior limb, putamen, head of caudal nucleus, and columna of fornix. But uh, let me show you uh, what happened with the mulligan state. Uh, with mulligan state, we stain the only the gray substance, white substance uh, uh, do not stain, only uh, gray substance. And let's go to see what happened. <clears throat> so this is uh, really beautiful because uh, uh, we, we can um, uh, define uh, all, the, all the gray substance. Uh, for example, uh, only to, to recognize uh, some structures in this uh, view, we have the genus corpus uh, callosum, uh, claustrum, uh, this uh, thin, this thin uh, uh, structure of uh, gray substance, the claustrum. Uh, frontal operculum, uh, insula, splenium of corpus uh, callosum, uh, the choroidal plexus, posterior limb of internal capsule with number seven in the eight anterior limb, and the putamen is uh, this uh, head of caudate uh, nucleus and columnar fornix. Uh, again, let me show you this, uh, this uh, uh, What's, what's going to happen with the mulligan uh, uh, staining. <clears throat> Maybe in other uh, lectures we can approach this. Uh, this. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Victor, for a uh, very great presentation. So it's a floor for everyone. So if you have any questions to ask Dr. Wickers about his presentations, please feel free to ask. And after the questions, we will have a 10 question quiz on the webcast in the Kahoot platform. So Mr. Vijan will provide us the link to that. Oh, he is, or have already. Okay, does anyone have questions? No, I guess. <laughs> okay, now's your time. Now's your time to shine, more like fill, fill in the dead air. <laughs> okay, but really beautiful, like dissecting and cadaver that you have. Yeah, really nice presentations. I think let's move on to the quiz. Yes. 
Okay, very good. Okay, let me uh, let me get set it up here. Give me a second. It's with with a platform called Cahoots, uh, which we're going to start using regularly in these webcasts. Um, just let me log in and get ready. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to display. Okay. Okay, I'm going to screen share now. This is new, so uh, be patient. Uh, we'll do the best we can, okay? And you need to go to kahoot.it in your smartphone, okay? And this is, uh, okay, we're going to stop playing here. And you'll be voting. You'll be voting on your smartphone for the answers. Okay. Can you see it? Okay, Warlocks. Yes, I can see it fine. I okay. What well, would you? Yeah, we're generating the pen now. Okay. Here, you can see the pen, right, Warlocks? Yes. Yes, I can see the pen. Okay, that's the number you punch in. You go to kahoot.it, okay, on your smartphone, and you punch in this pin here. So we're waiting for players, and um, just we'll just wait a minute or two. And I'm going to also come in myself, and you're, you're welcome to two war like just punch in with your smartphone there. I'm going to Kahoot. You too, Victor. Are you there, Victor? <laughs> yes, yes. You got to, you got to, well, you're not going to take it, obviously, but. Okay, I'm going to Kahoot.it and then I'm punching the pin in. 708. Four four five one. Okay, and enter, and you're going to see me pop up. Coming in, I'm coming in as daring quail. I thought it was daring queen, but it's a, that's a little too racy. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Okay, uh, Victor, Bold Rooster, very good. Okay, we may add a, a person or two, uh, but we'll just start. And once again, with the question, just punch in on your smartphone the response. Okay, first question. Okay. Just punch in the response. And Victor will go over the... Okay, Victor, I guess we even, we have two even answers, basal sinus and cavernous sinus. Yeah, yeah, uh, cavernous sinus. <clears throat> okay, very good. Let's go to the next one. Champion Owl is pulled ahead. The form and segment connects the superior sagittal sinus with a nasal vein, pineal vein, temporal vein. Okay, Victor, nasal vein majority, is that correct? Correct. Great. Okay, let's move on. Champion Owl is leading. <clears throat> the inferior sagittal sinus courses posteriorly to join. Superior sagittal sinus, straight sinus, cavernous sinus.
Okay, the overwhelming, overwhelming majority with yeah, signs, correct. Okay, very good. Code. So the people are listening. Let's see if Champion All maintains the lead. Geez, I can feel attention. Superior Petrosal Sinus connects. CS, CS means cavernous sinus. Okay. Okay, hey, Victor, C, that's the correct answer, Victor? Correct, correct. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Champion Owl maintains the lead with expert lemon. Inferior anastomic and anastomotic Bane is called crying. Okay, overwhelming majority. Bane of lobby. Is that correct, Victor? Correct. Very good. Champanel. Widens the lead. Uh, Victor, I hope you're not champion owl. Okay, Bain of Trollot, is that correct, Victor? Correct. Right. Excellent, excellent. Champion Owl maintains the lead. <clears throat> Which nerve is inside the cavernous sinus? Third, sixth, or fourth cranial nerve? Hey, Victor, five, six cranial nerves. Is that correct, Victor? Six cranial Very good. Very good. Majority rules. Champion Owl. And we have to do a lie detector test with Victor to make sure he's not the champion owl. No, it's me. Oh, it's a real person. Well, that's great. Okay, keep keep going. Abducens nerve enters a dural cave known as. Okay, which okay. well, one? But is that correct, Victor? Right. Excellent, excellent. Two more. Champion Owl, oh my God, maintains the lead. Okay, <clears throat> infratrochlear triangle. <clears throat> uh, I hope that question makes sense. Is that question? Uh, does that question make sense, Victor? <laughs> I may have, I may have made a mistake with that question. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess we have to take a pass on that. All are going to be correct in this, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll give everyone credit for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, good, it didn't affect the outcome. Champion Owl still, okay, comes down to the last question. It's gonna be hard to beat Champion Owl. Okay, basal sign. What, Victor A? Is that correct? Uh, is no, no. It's uh, basilar sinus. Okay, no. that's the one question we got wrong. Okay, let's total it up. And uh, 
get ready to make an acceptance speech if you win. We all know who the winner is going to be. Okay, Ooh. Champion Owl. Okay. Very good. Okay, Champion Owl, can you please introduce yourself? <laughs> who, who is it? Me. I think it's not fair. <laughs> is that you, Doc? Is it you, Gorlick? No, it's me. It's me. <laughs> oh, it is a very good. You, 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 you took it handily. No, I'm certain, but I like I make a mistake like the last question, so it's like. Well, oh, it's I'm it's not... me, but it's not fair, you know. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The, I'm, a, yeah I'm a senior person. It's not fair. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, well, it's only right. It's only right, really. You've had the most experience. <laughs> and and uh, there's there's talk that that the uh, war like stuffed the, the ballot box. Well, uh, Professor uh, Hugo, I, I I really enjoy your anatomy. I'm really fond to visit you in your lab and learn more and more of your techniques and beautiful anatomy. I really appreciate that too much. And uh, Warlox, uh, you are always amazing us every day by your drawings and your uh, uh, beautiful uh, brochures. I'm really, really honored to be part of this group, especially under Dr. Bennett, who is the, not the star, he is the universe now of the neurosurgeon. Well, no, I, I used to be, but Warlocks is pushing me out. No, no, no. Still, you are the galaxy. <laughs> she is a star in your galaxy. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Abdallah, whenever you want, you are welcome to Mexico City, of course. I'll be really very happy for that. I've got your email now, and when things are becoming better after Corona, hopefully I'll come and visit you and enjoy staying in Mexico. Thank you very much. Yeah, Victor, you have a lab, right, in Mexico City at the at the university, or uh, in the in C4, <laughs> uh, the Forensic Institute, the Forensic Sciences Institute here in Mexico City, is a place uh, where I am uh, doing this uh, this cadaver uh, research. So uh, Carlos uh, Villa Carlos uh, Villamayor want to make a question. Of course, of course. You see the question there, Victor? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Warlock. I'm taking over your job. Carlos Villamayor. Uh, maybe tur tur turn on your uh, microphone, Carlos uh, Villamayor. Carlos, está allá? No parece. Oh, yes, uh, he's in the screen, Carlos Villamayor, uh, uh, as a computer. Uh, On mute. Uh, Carlos, está allá? Parece que no, Victor. Hello, John? Oh, is it Carlos? John, oh, do you hear me? Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that was wonderful presentation. Victor, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Can you please introduce yourself. I'm Dr. Shams uh, from Islamabad, Pakistan. Well, I am the most uh, uh, oldest fan of uh, Dr. John Bennett. Since <laughs> he launched the uh, neurosurgical TV, uh, actually, I was resident at that time. Uh, then uh, I got my uh, uh, board certification. Uh, and I get a lot of knowledge from this neurosurgical TV. I'm uh, really, I enjoy this neurosurgical TV since long. And maybe I don't come on the front, but I used to see. Victor, I know you first time introduced the uh, silicon injection of silicon. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that, was, uh, that was the first time when I saw this uh, silicon injection live. Yes, yes. It's much better to study a brain. This well, uh, neurosurgical TV is doing really a wonderful job for all the neurosurgical community of uh, uh, this uh, whole yes. world. Uh, yes, I, I, I agree with uh, Dr. Abdallah that uh, John Bennett is a rock star. Uh, <laughs> man, oh man. Person. Even, uh, I've saved person. my job. Warlocks has taken it. No, it's a very tough job. 
<laughs> really, we can't. No, this is fun. This is fun. You guys will like this platform. The more you get to know it, you you know it. You've done it for a long, a long time, and Victor knows it, and Warlocks is starting to see it, and, and Abdallah Zaid, and he, he's and and uh, Joanna has seen it. Uh, so it's a fun platform, and it's uh, it's a fun way to learn. And uh, you were doing it before Corona, before Corona, uh, when we were doing a lot of it. Uh, it was uh, launched in 2016, I think, at the D December 2015. Yeah, that's when we started doing them pretty regularly. And uh, but, there uh, was a um, uh, very competent personality, Ab Cherion. Yes, Ab is still very active. He's moving to India. Okay, and great to see you. Let's see if we have some more questions here. Any more comments? Oh, I'm sorry, Warlocks, I'm taking your job. Go ahead. Say, no, just say, John, that's my job. Go ahead. Unmute, Warlock. I can't, I, you're, still, you're still muted, Warlock. No, oh, I unmute myself already. Okay. Okay, okay Warlock. So it's time for questions. But as I check from the questions box, not no one has questions. But the vein, like table brain, is a really important topic indeed for neurosurgeons like us. It's your fault, Warlocks, if nobody asks a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a comment. Any comments? You don't. You don't have to. So, so what? What do you think of the uh, Kahoot? Do you think it's worth it, uh, Warlocks? Yeah. You think it's worth it or no? You think it's just a waste of time? Yeah, yeah, it's it's worth it. You think it's worth it? You like it, Victor? Yes. I mean, like, uh, I like it, especially when I get like lots of points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what does the panel say about that? Does the panelist say anything about that? Is it worth doing? Uh, I'd like to do it, and, and I think Victor likes to do it. Likes to do it. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I guess we can wrap it up, Orlick. So, okay, okay. No, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank wrap you. it up. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today for Neolo Anatomies TV. I'm Walalak, and Dr. Jarman is really welcome to you all. And Wait for the next sessions. What is about, Dr. John? Okay, this will all be posted on YouTube. So. Okay, what is the next topic wait for next Monday? Uh, next Monday? Boy, Warlock, she caught me by surprise. So, I, in other words, the pressure's on you, so you're putting it on me. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> you put it on me at the last minute. Okay, uh, I, I, <clears throat> Uh, Abby Shah is giving a lecture on lateral and oh, let me let me screen share it. Oh, excuse me a second. Let me screen share this here. Okay, Abby Shah on November 9th is giving uh, the lecture on lateral and third ventricles, surgical considerations and approaches. Um, and that will be uh, next week. So, okay, very good. Yes. Okay, Warlocks, wrap it up. Put a nice little bow in it, a bow tie. I think not only that, I want to say something. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy, this is a very smooth closing, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> anybody, any comments or, or, or anything? Did, some, did you say somebody had something to say? Oh, um, no. Somebody just said that he cannot access to the car who maybe next time you should like. Uh, have an instruction about how to use Kahoot before we start the webinar. Yeah. As the pin ID. And everybody's like, say, excellent idea, excellent lecture, and the Kahoot is totally worth it. And next time we will do a lecture on lateral, like, when to call. Okay. <laughs> Boy, we'll, we'll work on the extra duction, the way you, 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 you have a transition to get out smoothly. We didn't do it now, but we'll work on it. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next week. Okay, thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to keep on the air. I'm just going to get off.